Hey guys, it's Dr. Adam Nally here. I hope you can hear me. Um, it, uh, it's uh, Wednesday afternoon, uh, Wednesday evening, I guess, here in Arizona. I am uh, Dr. Adam Nally. I'm a board-certified family physician and a board-certified uh, obesity medicine specialist coming to you live from Waddell, Arizona. Uh, this is uh, 25 reasons why you should be in ketosis other than fat loss. This is part number two. We're going to talk a little bit about incretins or what incretins are. Uh, we, and the, the each day we'll, we'll try to cover a different um, reason for ketosis or 25 or 26 of them that occur other than losing fat because I have a lot of people say, why in the world would you really want to lose fat or lose, uh, uh, or if I, don't, if I don't already want to lose weight or if I've lost weight I want, uh, what other reason would I want to be in ketosis? So uh, this is part number two. We're going to talk about incretins. Now what are incretins? Incretins are hormones that are released um, in the gut when nutrient is present. They, they stimulate insulin, either uh, up or down, and they drive uh, hormone signals uh, w from the GI system in the presence of nutrients, not, not other hormone signals. Uh, one of the main incretins that's important is one called GLP. Uh, this, this is, there's actually two of them. Uh, there's another one called GIP and one called uh, Protein YY. These hormones are released when the, when the gut feels a stretch or feels a response of food. Now, they can be released because of any type of food in the gut. Uh, and so fat itself re releases them. Protein releases them as does carbohydrate. Why are these, why are these important? Well, uh, when the GLP is released, that, that GLP is released and it stimulates a part of the brain that actually suppresses satiety or suppresses appetite. So if you're eating fat and that fat hits the gut and it stretches the gut, you'll release GLP. And because there's no other carbohydrate present, if you're following a ketogenic diet, you're going to see further suppression of the appetite without even any rise in insulin. Uh, and the important thing is that that GLP or hormones that affect the brain. The first hormone at the hypothalamus level. Now the hypothalamus is a part of the brain, right dead center in the middle of the brain, that signal, that, that receives a number of signals. Three of them are, one of them is called a, a goody related protein. That sounds like something you'd find um, growing in your fridge if you've left it there too long, but it actually is a, a, a hormone that, that turns on appetite. When GLP from the stomach hits it, it actually turns down or depresses, suppresses the appetite. Uh, the, the next one is called GABA. GABA is an important hormone that relating to nerves and nerve function and uh, pain sensation. And the other one uh, that is stimulated uh, is one called uh, neuropeptide Y. Now, the, uh, those three in the hypothalamus uh, that are actually at the hypothalamus are driven by that GLP. And so when fat hits your gut, it stimulates GLP, and it actually suppresses the appetite, suppresses GABA. It also suppresses ghrelin. Ghrelin is the hormone produced by the stomach stimulates your hunger, it actually dampers down that hunger signal. So GLP is important. Now, why is GLP important beyond that, and how does that relate to ketosis? Well, it, it in suppressing appetite, you're going to eat less. Now, the other component is that without insulin, it suppresses it even more. And the, ne the other component is that GLP actually dampers down inflammation and dampers down pain. So if you're eating a, a high-fat meal with limited carbohydrate, that we're finding that ketogenic diets and the use of ketones themselves can have some dampering effect to both inflammation and pain. Those are important for you to understand, uh, and that's part two of uh, why ketosis is important for you other than for fat loss. And that's your three to four minutes short from Dr. Nally. Have a great day. Keep the fat high, keep the carbs low, and we'll talk to you again. Take care.